Hello class 4, welcome back. I am going to take your maths class. Okay, so in this video I am going to teach you chapter number 2, Indian number system. And as you know in earlier videos I have already explained you about the Indian place value chart. Okay, regarding uh, different periods, place values, how to read and write the numbers and also other concepts I have explained you, right? And we have also done few assignments based on the revision chapter. Like what you have learned in class 3, based on that we have done few assignments also. Now we are going to do uh, exercise 2A. So if you can take out your book, that will be good because if you if you will go through the questions, it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, so let us start. We will do first question number, uh, exercise 2A, question number 1. The question is, write the number names for each of the following. So as you can see, I have already written the question on the board. So what you have to do, you have to write the number names for this number. Now, how will you do this? The easier way is, one way you can like write these digits in the Indian place value chart. And you can read out the number. Other way is that you can write the place value of individual digit on top of it and then you can read the number like how as I am doing. Like 4 is in 1's place, 5, 5 is in 10's place, then 6 is in 100's place, then 1000, 10,000, lakhs, 10 lakhs and crore. Okay, so in this way we will read. First, 1 is in which place value? Crore place value. So, we will say 1 crore. Then, 2 is in 10 lakhs place value. And 1 is in lakhs place value. So, we will say 1 crore 21 lakhs. Then, this 4 digit. Digit 4 is in 10,000 place. And 3 is in 1000 place. So, we will say 43,654. And you have to write this in number names number names means you have to write in words so i will write for you one, one answer like 1 crore 21 lakhs 43000 654. So in this manner you will write the number names of the given numbers. Okay. Now we will move to the next question. The next question is write the numerals for each of the following and also give space or comma at the proper places. So you know like why we give the space or comma we uh, by giving space or comma we separate the periods okay so you see the first question is 80 crores 70 lakhs 50680 so if you just look into your question uh, like you know, in the book it is 80 crore 70 lakhs 50000 and 680 now this also what you can do either you can imagine the indian place value chart or you can draw somewhere and you can place these numbers in that uh, like no place value chart according to the place values. So how shall we write this answer? 80 crores. How shall we write 80 crores? Now see here. It is 80. Okay. Then next is 70 lakhs. 70 lakhs. After that, 50,000. Now see, I am putting comma. Why? To separate the periods. Now here it is 50,000. Alright, the 1,000 periods gone. I mean, separated. And then uh, next number is 680. Now, 680. Okay, so this is how you are going to write the next. See, I am giving comma. 
This is crores period. This is lakhs period, thousands period, and this one is ones period. So this is how you have to separate. All right. Now we move to the next question. Question number three. Give the expanded form. Now, as you have already done uh, in your uh, previous assignments, I have already explained you how to do that. I'll just give one example over here, and uh, rest of the questions you can do by yourself. All right. So, okay. So as you can see, I have written question number three, uh, where you have to write the numbers in the expanded form, in the large form. So you see here, I have written the first question, question number A. So what you will do is, first you will write the place value of individual digit. Once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, uh, lakhs, ten lakhs and crore. Okay, so how you are going to write in the expanded form? First of all, you will <coughs> hide all these numbers. And write 1. Okay. Then after 1, rest all the digit will become 0. 1, 2. Then again for this also 2, 0. Then 3 more 0. Okay. Now next one. It is 28 lakhs. Now again what you will do. You will write. And every time don't forget to put the plus sign. Then for this you will write 2 digit 2 and rest all the numbers will be 0. Then for 8 also you will write 8 and this all these numbers will become 0. Alright, 8 lakhs done. Then we have 10,000. Then 4,000. Okay, because 4 is in thousands place, so 4000, then 600 plus 600 plus in tens place 0 is there, so we will write only 0 and in ones place 1. So this is how you will write the number in expanded form. Okay, now we come to the next question. In next question, question number 4, it is just the reverse case. So expanded form is given and you have to write in the compact form, in the short form. So, this for this, how you will do? You see, you just underline all the digits first. Okay? Here, you see? And you have to write them in this way. This one, single digit, so it will go in the ones place. Start writing from the uh, right side. Then, this is two digit, that is in tens place. So, five. Then, this one is three digit. You will write. Okay, so once period is done, this uh, <coughs> 100, tens and uh, once uh, place value is done, then we move to the next one. It is four digit number, that means it is in thousand space. So we will write thousand, seven thousand, then two, twenty, this is twenty thousand, so twenty seven thousand done. Okay, then we have in lakhs period four, then in 10 lakhs period, 8 is there. So it is 84. Then we come to next one, uh, crores period. Now in crores period, you see 6 is there. 6 and in uh, 10 crore period, 2. So the number is 26 crore, 84 lakhs, 27,356. Okay. So in this way, you will do question number 4. Now we move to the next question, question number 5. In question number 5, write the period of the underlying digit. Now you know what is period, okay. There are 4 periods in Indian place value chart. So those are ones, then thousand, then lakhs and then crore. Now you see, in the first question it is given, uh, 7 is underlined. Fine. Now you have to see, this digit 7 is in which period. Now if you... Okay, I will write this question on the board. So, you can see here, I have written question number 5, where you have to write the periods. Okay, so you see, this is the number and one digit is underlined here. 
so 7 is underlined you have to find the period of this digit now let us start from here we will write the place value okay now this one uh, ones tens hundred so this comes under ones period okay then we have next to place value that is ten thousand and thousand so this comes under thousands period okay then we have next two digit seven and six seven's place value is ten lakhs and six place value is lakhs but then period is what period will be lakhs okay and then last two digit they are in crores period so over here seven is in <coughs> lakhs period okay in this way we will write the period of digit seven is lakhs then we come to the next question here you have to write the place value now you see here eight has been underlined okay so let us start writing the place value of individual digit this is ones tens hundred then here thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs and crore ten crore all right now see eight and like digit eight is in which place eight lakhs place so we will write either in this way eight lakhs okay or we can write eight into for lakhs how many digit uh, six digit and how many zeros five zeros so we will write like this okay in this way you will write now you will see if you see the next question question number 7 in this question you have to do both you have to write the periods also and you have to write the place value okay so you will do in this way only you have to do this one is given separately but in question number 7 it is combined means where you have to write both when then you will move to the next question question number 8 find the difference between the place value of now what you will see here in this question if you see carefully uh, there is one number and in this number one digit is repeated twice okay and these uh, like no this digit is in two different place places or two different place values so you have to find the difference between them fine so i will do that on the board one one is already done for you you can understand from there also and i will do one for you so that you understand more better and rest you will do by yourself at home okay so let's do okay so you can see here the question is here here digit 8 is repeated and they are in different places okay two different place values now you see we will write the place value of individual digits ones tens hundred then thousand ten thousand and after that lakhs 10 lakhs crore and 10 crore now you can see here both the eights are in two different places first one is in crores place and the second one is in 10000s place all right now we will write them in the numeral form okay so 8 crore Then minus eighty thousand. And now what you have to do is you have to find the difference between them. I will write the answer over here. Okay. So you see here. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero. Again zero, then put a comma. Okay, then again zero. Now here it is zero and down is eight. So we cannot subtract. So we, what do we have to do? We have to borrow. Okay, this will become seven. Then this will become ten. From ten again we have to take here ten. 
this is 9. Again from this 10 we will take your 10 and this becomes 9. So now it is not 0, it is 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Alright. And here 9. This one is also 9 and 7. So ultimately answer is here. Answer is what? It is 7 crore 99 lakhs. Then 20,000. Okay. So that will be your answer. So what you will do in this manner. You will do uh, rest of the sums. And where you are going to do these sums all. Question number 1 to 8. You will do them in your uh, copy. Not in the book. But you will do it in the copy. And you will send me for the correction also. Okay. Now. Uh, I, like in this video I will teach you till this much then rest of the question I will explain you in the next video okay till then keep learning and take care bye bye